Still no break in the cold spell. Heavy snow showers in the areas around York, Middlesbrough and Darlington have affected rail traffic where a strong southwest wind has swept powdered snow off the surrounding hillsides into many rail cuttings, blocking them completely. It was about 5 a.m. on Thursday, the 24th of February, when the operating department heard that the 4.20 a.m. goods were stuck in a heavy drift in Bleakgill. Motive power sent in two engines and two heavy plows, but conditions were still bad, and the plows got stuck too. Then it was up to the civil engineers. A plan was agreed with the other two departments, and the local inspectors briefed their men. Men from Darlington, West Auckland, even from a quarry alongside the line. Well, we dug the ploughs out after a struggle and started all over again. Motive power ran the ploughs up and down to get one line clear. Then we could start thinking about the stuck train. When you get a job of this sort, all the snow ploughs in the world can't do away with the need for good, solid, back-breaking digging. Digging went on throughout the night by the light of the silvery moon. It helped out by pressure lamps, of course. Driving an engine's one thing. Blinding a plough into a drift is another. When you get a cab full of snow and steam and smoke and steam, so you just have to keep going. The train was reached at about 3 p.m. on the Monday, four days after it was first stranded. With a 40 mile an hour wind blowing powdered snow back into your face, you'd think the language would be enough to bring in a general four. But language wasn't enough to thaw this engine out. Even when the drift snow is cleared, every joint, every valve and piston is a solid block of ice. So it's a boiler by this time. We just thaw out all the moving parts with cotton weight soaked in paraffin. It looks a bit crude. That's it. But when you were on the moor tops with nothing but snow and bad language and whatever tools you've been able to drag with you, it's the only thing to do. And the crude equipment does the job. It's still touch and go whether she'll move or not. But we brought a couple of engines with us, so we hitch her up and have a go. Until it lasted all out, five slogging days after the train first got stopped. Summer is singing in streets again, and summertime's travels have now begun. The cuckoo sings of the burnished grain, and long journeys gilded by the sun. At Platform 5, the Elizabethan, a special express of the holiday season, summons its strength. 